Welcome to race 16 of the NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Let's Play season as we return to the world center of racing, Daytona International Speedway, located at the birthplace of NASCAR, Daytona Beach, Florida, for the running of the night race, the Pepsi 400. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has got to be the race favorite, remember, because he won the Daytona 500 earlier in this Let's Play, trying to sweep Daytona once again, like he did on NASCAR 2001, 2002, 2003, and 2004. Can he do it, or will others like Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick, Jeff Gordon, Ryan Newman, Matt Kenseth, and others prevent that from happening as we get the race underway? Three flags out, and we're on at Daytona. Dale Earnhardt Jr. with a great start for, of tonight. Gaining a monster start over Ryan Newman. Oh, Newman bumps him. Oh, here comes Newman to the inside. Oh, Junior, he's not giving up. Not giving up. Still side by side and heading into turn number three. Newman takes the lead with a big head of steam from Tony Stewart. Really, Tony? on lap one. Everybody patiently waited for this race to begin and we wreck on lap one. The owner Jr. not happy about that contact from Tony Stewart. Ryan Newman gets five points for leading that lap. But he's under, a, a, under attack from the charge of Kevin Harvick. The owner Jr. with the head of steam pushed by Robbie Gordon, Jeff Gordon. Trying to catch up. And look at Johnny Sauter in that 30 car. Trying to catch up with the big group as well. Look at that eight. Oh, the eight car has caught up. Trying to get there. Harvick's going to let the eight car by. Three wide. There's a big wiggle. Where did that eight car come from? Ryan Newman did not see that coming as Dale Earnhardt Jr. storms by to the inside and retakes the top spot. Newman bounces off the wall. Newman's still desperate for his first win of the season. The last time he's won a race was back on NASCAR Thunder 2003. The summer race the August race at Michigan. But he better be careful because he's got Harvick down below to the inside looking for second. Harvick pulled a little slide job of Newman and takes second place away. As we get nine to go, Kevin Harvick trying to win another restrictor plate race this year. Trying to win Daytona. Remember, he got by Dylan Arjun to the inside at the Aaron's 499 at Talladega on the last lap. But he's got nine laps to do it. Can he do it, or will Earnhardt Jr. sweep Daytona? Dale Earnhardt Jr. nearly got wrecked by Tony Stewart, but kept in control, kept on charging, and look where he's at, up at the front, leading once again. Eight to go this time. Looks like Newman, he's not giving up either, nor is Kevin Harvick. Nor is the Pepsi car of Jeff Gordon in the 24 car, trying to work his way to the front as well. Here comes Newman, trying to take second from Harvick. He's there, but Harvick continues to fight back. Dale Jr. trying to block, block both lanes all at the same time. The crowd is on their feet. Nobody is sitting down. Nobody's lifting out. Here we come to seven laps to go at the Pepsi 400. Oh, here comes Harvick back to the inside of Newman. Seven to go this time, and Jeff Gordon has caught up with the leaders. Jeff Gordon. He wants his shot at the front. 
Trying to work with Harvick as Newman tried desperately to get around Ryan Newman. Whoa, there's contact! And there's a spin! Oh, no contact! Caution flag is out. Left side damage for the eight car after contact from Ryan Newman and a bounce off to the inside wall. But he'll still restart at the lead. Halfway done. We're past the halfway point with six to go as we restart this live racing action. Dale Earnhardt Jr. once again with a monstrous restart over Ryan Newman. And with damage on the rear, and we got a caution once again. Yellow is out again. This time, Michael Waltrip in the 15 car bounces off the outside wall in turn number two. Oh, got a little bit loose in between the two RCR cars of Robbie Gordon and Johnny Sauter. Just four points out of the top 10. Michael Waltrip has trouble. Now there's five laps to go as we restart this race. All right. Can these guys survive the final five laps at Daytona? Newman looking for the lead with a head of steam on Dale Earnhardt Jr. But you're looking at Kevin Harvick in the 29 car with a big push from Jeff Gordon trying to work his way to the front. Here comes Harvick to the high side. He wants those five bonus points. Going back to the inside, bounces off Earnhardt Jr. gets loose, and Kevin Harvick, Kevin Harvick now has the top spot with four laps to go. An awesome run for Harvick. Oh, but look at that A-car. He's coming back to the inside. He'll retake the lead away. Oh, he gets a little bit loose. Harvick retakes the top spot. Nobody's lifting out. There's just three and a half laps to go at the, at the Pepsi 400. Oh, Junior with the head of steam on Harvick, retakes the lead heading into turn number three. This is crazy. Oh, there's contact once again. Bernard Jr. and Harvick. Everybody's trying to survive the final three laps. Oh, three, already three wide. Harvey needs some help from teammate Robbie Gordon. Newman looking for some help from either Casey Kane or Jeff Gordon. Well, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is not going to give up just yet as we come to approach two laps to go. Oh, there's contact. Newman and Harvick gets to get, get together. Two to go at Daytona. That's another five bonus points for Dale Earnhardt Jr. Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to win 10 in a row at Daytona. Trying to go for a fifth sweep at Daytona for the fifth time in a row. Oh, Gordon and Kane. Trying to prevent that. A little bounce off the wall for the A car, but he continues to hold his ground as we approach the white flag of the Pepsi 400. Look at Casey Kane. Trying to, trying to grab the lead away. Kane now has the lead. Can Casey Kane hang on for his first ever win? White flag in the air, last lap at Daytona. Oh, Junior bounces off the wall. Casey Kane holding on tight. Junior a little bit loose into, into two. Here we come. 
Bobby Labonte with a head of steam, but here comes Jr. to the high side. Oh, there's a bit of a wiggle there. Kane loses the top spot. Jr. retakes the top spot into three. Casey Kane's going to need some help to get by that eight car. No caution. Here we come. Bobby Labonte. Not going to get there. Dale Earnhardt Jr. wins at Daytona. Winning the Pepsi 400. Labonte, Kane, Gordon, Bickle, Newman, Harvick, Waltrip, Johnson, and Murphy. Michael Waltrip, with that spin with six laps to go, brings out one of the caution flags, still hangs on for a top 10 finish. Dale Earnhardt Jr. Win number six for him. There's the donuts the fans are waiting to see. Mike Murphy, great run for him. A 10th place run over God by Dale Jarrett. Stewart, 13th, Kinseth, 14th, Bush, 15th. Murray gone. Wallace, Sauter, and Davis. Sadler, 25th. Ouch. Dale Earnhardt Jr. survives a wild bumping and banging run to Daytona, getting his sixth win of the season. Now we move on to the Tropicana 400 at the Chicagoland Speedway. Now with a 488 point advantage over Kurt Busch, Harvick moves up to fourth, passing Matt Kenseth. Kane passes Sadler for 10th. Sadler needs another great run as he currently sits Nine points ahead of Michael Waltrip on the bubble. All right. We'll see you next time at the Chicagoland Speedway for the Tropicana 400.